program. Yes. What made you decide, I'd like to apply for this? Well, I've always been interested in space as a kid. So my dad worked at NASA for two years, and then my neighbor, uh, her, let's see, I think it was her nephew, was also working at NASA. And also, when I was growing up, that was the big push, like, oh, Voyager 2 is reaching Uranus, now it's reaching Neptune. It's like seeing all these magazine spreads, kind of like, it made me really excited uh, about space. And then, of course, I'd be keeping track of the space shuttle missions, that kind of stuff. Uh, my parents have been really supportive of like my getting education. My science teachers have been very supportive. And they've really been the people who've really pushed me to pursue all these like scientific adventures, I guess that's how I put it. No, I guess the, the one thing, because you think like uh, many kids, more, uh, you know, maybe, maybe mostly boys, have always grown up like, oh, I'd like to be an astronaut. Maybe that doesn't happen as much now. Or for some reason, uh, whether it's uh, physical or just educational things, as Dr. Kraft was saying, the opportunities aren't there for somebody to become that. But now for yourself, they have an opportunity, maybe have always had an interest, and all of a sudden there comes this project, the Mars One Project, where now somebody like yourself could be an astronaut. How exciting is that to be part of it? Certainly. I mean, it was something I thought about through college as well. So I actually majored in geology in undergrad. and. One of the things people were talking about was, oh yeah, well since you say earth science, it's like maybe you should consider going to Mars. And it was one of the things I thought about was like, well, the space program right now, it seems like it's not really getting the attention that it used to. And the possibility of sending more people to space, I mean, manned missions to Mars haven't really been on the radar for quite a while. So it's like, well, hey, this could actually happen. And now I'm sitting here, it's like, how did this, how did I get here? <laughs> So now, after you apply, and Dr. Kraft, you go through all the candidates and you select people that might be worthy of going forward in the process. Now, at what point do you and Ren first can, do you meet face to face somewhere in the process? Yes, that's the next one. So it will come up very soon. Uh, we have the first face to face meeting through Skype, not, not in person, mm -hmm. because our, our applicants are international. <laughs> and the ref that's already the start of the first part because I give them um, the, the challenge to learn what's on a website. So it has a, a lot of good points because it's what they're interested in. They're interested in Mars, but also they have to know what they're getting into and they have to know the details and if the applicants meet a journalist and the journalist asks me questions and I have no idea and then the journalist asks, why are you applying in the first place? So it helps them and they have to know about it. So that's the first step to see can they actually uh, talk about it, where they're going, what they're doing, can they learn things and then repeat things to us. So that's the number one step. They can ask questions too, of course, yeah. at the same time. So that would be the first face-to-face -face meeting. And that, in this case, we will, I will narrow it down to 100, approximately. Okay. So it's not always the exact number, because I don't like to have exact number, because some might be good, some are not as good, and then up and down. And then they will meet all together, and that's the, pl the next plan is, uh, for international coast. So put the national coast to and have group challenges of 10 to 15 and then with judges and we will see how they do in a group challenge. And then it will be narrowed down approximately to 50 and what I want to do and I hope we, we can achieve that, put them in an isolation environment. So really like, like a Mars in such a habitat because they have to experience how is it. A lot of them were never there. So they really don't know. Before we selected 24 who start training, they have to know, can I actually be in that team box, more or less, and can I do that? So that's our next steps. Now, Ren, you've had some uh, background doing individual things. You've, you've yeah. bike, rode, uh, bike, rode, bike rode across the country. Yeah. You've also gone to, uh, helped out in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. So in a, kind of a, a high-pressure situation, you know, a lot of tensions right there, working as part of a team to help rebuild something there. So were those two things, to, after doing those two experiences, did you feel like that gave you a nice kind of background to feel like I'd be a good candidate for this? I think it gives me yeah a base to build on. Of mm -hmm. course like it's nothing as like, high level I guess that's the proper word to say as being in isolation uh, in a place where you can't really get supplies readily. But I do think that working with all these people with all these different experiences does give me the background to interact with people like con uh, have good conflict resolution skills and just overall getting things done. Now, I have to imagine, it's 10 years before this whole, the, the exhibition would take off. And I would think, between that 10 years, a lot can change in a person's life. Their enthusiasm uh, for a project or other things happen in their life that might challenge them to do something else as opposed to stay in this program. How do you feel you're going to be able to maintain this enthusiasm over the course of 10 years? Gosh, uh, I mean, agreed. 
yeah, lots of things could dip, could change in ten years. I mean, I've always been passionate about space. I mean, from when I was in kindergarten to now, I still enjoy it. Uh, but also, technology could change a lot in ten years too. So, this could also really keep. I mean, in the news media, it could keep pe keep people excited. Um, it's like it could make these things more possible too. So, like as time progresses and as these advances become more possible, I think I will also stay excited.